so the example name is turbulent flow in a compact heat exchanger turbulent flow in a compact heat exchanger so first i'll see you know uh, here also the same similar case day before yesterday we solved one problem right periodic flow and heat transfer it is also similar to that but already they have already they have converted this object as a periodic now here we have a series of you know fins here we have series of fins and we have continuous series of fins and inside you no know, this fins were uh, usually it is having i'll show you the image first i'll make you to understand this uh, problem then i'll move to the uh, so here see now here the it is having a series of series of pins like this so it is having series of pins now here also and it is continuously having now here again the top portion again it will have one more part like this okay so one more part like this you will be having okay so it continuously we having series of pins okay so uh, inside this pin fins no this we call as fins so in uh, the hot liquid was flowing you no know? hot liquid was flowing hot water was flowing you know you can call hot water was flowing continuously see now to cool this fins now what we are doing is we are making a cold water to pass over here cold water to cool this section we are passing a cold water here okay a cold water we are passing that now what we are going to see is we are going to calculate the temperature difference and we are going to calculate already this part is done as a periodic if you not we have what we have to do we have to make that part as a periodic okay so i'll go with the discard so i'll make you to understand the purpose of this tutorial is to evaluate the pressure drop and heat transfer characteristics of a liquid ammonia the liquid what we are using is liquid ammonia flowing through a specified interrupted fins heat exchanger at a given mass flow rate so the ammonia is a heating liquid okay which is passing from the fins and having a mass flow rate they have also mentioned that is a mass flow rate so first we can see the problem description a compact heat exchanger for this problem consisting of stacked fins that head hands the heat transfer related to the continuous fin uh, fin heat exchanger by prompting the turbulent mixing in the wake region behind each fins and taking the advantage of relative high heat transfer coefficients as the boundary layers continuously reform and interrupt on the interrupted fins a sketch of the geometry which is have dimension in terms of mm as shown in the figure the geometry contains symmetry boundary condition at the top and bottom plane top and bottom also you have symmetry planes also no which is all these dimensions are in terms of mm now assume that pressurized liquid ammonia it is a temperature of 240 kelvin is heated in heat exchanger fins and the fins are at a constant temperature of 350 kelvin okay uh, the fins are at a temperature of 3 you know uh, hot fins are at a temperature of 350 kelvin considering that viscosity of liquid ammonia the viscosity of liquid ammonia is 0.000152 kg per meter per second and the characteristic length of the scale is 5.84 mm that is of half width between the fins the reynolds number is 9000 that's we can say that is a turbulent flow okay so the periodic will be used beginning and end on the planes of a domain and the periodic mass flow rate is at temperature i mean which is having 1.385 kg per second okay they have given the mass flow rate also so and the rest of the things we have uh, which method we have to give and which all those things so i hope you understood what they have given and what we are going to calculate the thing is that the fins are at a temperature of 350 kelvin that uh, the cold water which is at in 240 degree i mean 240 degree kelvin it was having and what we are going to evaluate we are going to evaluate the pressure drop and the temperature characteristics we are going to see that okay so that we are going to study in this google did you understood the problem description what they have given what we are going to find it google uh, shanwas mohammad yeah. yes 
com- not completely something you understood right okay. yes So go with I'm just giving okay. So go with fluid flow fluent. So what example it was? Turbulent flow in a compact. heat exchanger so this is example uh, we have turbulent flow in a compact heat exchanger so what i am going to do is uh, directly i am taking the mesh file import browse you can take this htx you know uh, mesh file i am going to take it here so you can save it for future reference i am just saving it uh desktop in the fluent you can go with here turbulent flow in this okay so just go with uh, fluent this is the part i have now first i'll make you to understand the whole uh, thing graphics views you can display the top and bottom symmetry things now here this is the fins right one two fins as we have so there's two fins and in order to cool this fins what we have is uh, we are making a cold water to pass inside we are making cold water to pass like this bottom also and bottom also we are making cold water to pass inside okay so it is also symmetry right so in the first day before yesterday we saw all right turbulent uh, periodic flow and heat transfer the same thing already you can, this part is converted as a periodic no this has been converted as a periodic you have to see that it has been converted as a periodic okay just undo this you can see this has been converted so that is this is your inlet region and this is your shadow region inlet region and this is a shadow region if not if they have not given the periodic what we have to do is the command is mesh modify zones make periodic we have to convert so which is your periodic zones okay so this edge is your periodic zone and this edge is your shadow region so they have their particular id right sir how do i know their id so when you go with boundary conditions no when you click on this particular you have id 7 uh, tall 6 you have you know all this they have particular id now if you click it on there you can easily find it which is your inlet and which is your outlet and what is the id for that and what is id for the outlet we can easily find it that okay so first you can go with the general cases and uh, check the quality first uh, i am going to display all of them okay thus we have done it right so first foremost thing is we have to scale they have already mentioned this is are in terms of uh, mm here so but you see which is very in the very big in the length okay so very uh, big in the length i'm going to reduce the scale i'm going to reduce the scale okay so i'm going to reduce this now i'll put it in terms you know instead of converting I'll, you know instead of uh, every time convert to scale you can also reduce the scale by x and y so this time i'm going to reduce the scale that is of 1 e power minus 6 also you can reduce i'm converting that into meters micro no uh, millimeters to meters i'm going to convert 
uh, e power minus 6 I'm going to use it here okay I'm going to scale it here right I can view this length is here fine all right so I'm going to I'm just reduce the scale just try to close it here right just try to fit to the screen right so this been uh, be, we have been used it so then what is the next stage what is the next stage you have to do it here okay so I'm going to use it so what input they have given here and uh, they have given here is heat exchanger they have given a heat exchanger which is we have done this and next is it is a temperature of 240 Kelvin and 350 Kelvin so what is that liquid ammonia we have to take the material okay so check the quality and report the quality so it is a present based absolute study planar I'm going to use it here okay so this now go to the models so already they have mentioned is turbulent flow so energy is important because we are calculating temperature right I'm just enabling this viscosious k epsilon second equation I'm going to use it here k epsilon uh, I'm going to use enhanced wall treatment I'm going to use it this try to give okay right so I'm going to take the liquid ammonia go for material so in that air was there go for created it so from this in the fluent database you can take liquid ammonia liquid it will be there ammonia liquid uh, you can go here ammonia yes you can see ammonia liquid and try to copy it right so try to close it here right try to close it here ammonia liquid you have just go with here so what your new property you know molecular weight has been added select the constant method for molecular weight data is required uh, molecular weight okay it's not it it is just a kind of uh, indication it's showing so ammonia liquid so that we have given and next case is uh, go for cell zone conditions in that what no we are making that as a liquid ammonia okay so that I'm going to use it here liquid ammonia okay uh, liquid ammonia I'm going to use it here and the next case is I am going to specify the cell zone conditions we have given now uh, then you can go with here boundary conditions so this is wall top sir what is mean by wall top and bottom sir so I, I want to know this so go with general you can go with the display apart from this wall top and bottom this is wall top and this is wall bottom so first I will display this wall top just go with the display just fit it now this is your wall top and which could be the wall bottom this is wall bottom so this are your heating objects this two no uh, here are heating objects and rest of the things are general you have so this is your I'm going to display that right go for boundary conditions wall top and go bottom I'm going to give the temperature okay so so go with here wall bottom edit it so which is having a temperature of thermal temperature I'm going to give is 350 okay. so this I'm going to use it 350 I'm going to use it so this wall bottom and wall top also edit it so thermal temperature which is having 350 Kelvin I'm going to use it here right so this have been uh, specified here now then what in parameters they have given they also mentioned that uh, viscosity liquid ammonia which is having viscosity is 0 0.300 kg per meter cube so we can see this go for material ammonia liquid so viscosity so 0 0.300152 no the same thing which was there and next input cases is yes 5.0 of it and they have given the mass flow rate which is having 1.385 kg per second thus we have to define right so go with again boundary conditions in that uh, periodic conditions in that you can specify the mass flow rate which is having 1.385 I'm going to use it this is the mass flow rate of that uh, cases and that too you can go with here the temperature which is having 240 okay so which is having I'm going to use it this right so thus we have been given here so once we have done I'm just saving this 
okay so then dynamic mesh reference values we can take it here okay so once we have created now then uh, reference values and more going solution methods i'm going to use it solutions monitors i'm going to use it here monitors so what uh, cases you want to find i want to see the different uh, cases like uh, this time you want to go with here create what input parameters you want to see that i'll go with the area weightage average i'm going to give so uh, this so what you want to see this so i want to see the so for example field variable of wall fluxes you can take it here wall shear stress or stagnant number you can use it at wall top and bottom which region uh, this you can mention this this is like uh, surface stanton number you can view you can uh, you can define this now what do you want to see sir even you want to find the drag also you can also find the drag just go with the drag print and console at which region at top region wall uh, wall top region at this you want to find you can find it at wall top that too you can write it you can write it there if you want you can write i'll go with okay right so this you can see and what sir what else you want to see sir i want to see for pressure also no uh, what velocity we want to see that velocity drop or pressure drop you can go with your pressure drop that too which you know you can go with your area weightage average so then you can go with your pressure okay it which region wall top and bottom both the cases you can give here right so then uh, you can take the you can cross check reference values from fluid you can take it here you can see whatever the input you are given in the top and bottom it will be saved here you can save the project right uh, then solution methods in that uh, second order moment we doesn't require uh, i'm going to put it as which you can you know turbulence we require you no know, i'll put it second order itself second order turbulency this i'm going to use second order this is also a second order i'm going to energy is already in the second order i'm going to use it here and solution controls what you're going to do is so this the foremost thing is what happened no previously you know i think google got this amd solver thing so what we do is go for solution methods in that you can go for options or you can solution controls then you can go with your equations so here we have flow turbulence you know so what you do is uh, any way you can go with it first you want to solve the temperature or turbulence and this you want to calculate so which way you want to calculate so now three at a time we cannot solve it so what you do is either you can deselect this energy okay you can deselect this energy then you can run it solve them again after solving the after getting the better result then you deselect the turbulence and the flow then you activate the temperature anyway it's fine okay so go with here uh, solution controls we can go with here okay so calculation first you can initialize this then you can calculate the results so just try to initialize this inputs okay so which is having uh, turbulence viscosity is limit is 1.8 this 180 cells we have so then i'll go with here for example mm, yeah so once you initialize now try to calculate it this time i'll go with some fine iterations okay so go with some fine iterations okay so this i want to see that try to calculate it so coefficient of drag here you can go with here what is this pressure how does the pressure is getting changed you can see this so units you can decrease it might be the units uh this is stagnant number which is showing 0 0 
okay and residuals we have uh, here and wall top region So it is what in which region it is get converts. So I gave for 500. No, it is get converts at 212. You can see that uh, graphics counters setup. So I will see for the pressure cases. Just go with here. Then you can go with your uh, counters of static pressure. Just try to fit it here. Over here we have. So can you display the other walls also? Yes. I'll display the other walls also. Use. Can see this regions, okay? So where we have the maximum pressure at this region over here, right? So this way we have it. Sir, can you display the other cases like uh, velocity cases? Okay, so counters. This time you can put it to velocity, velocity magnitude. So if you want to give the range, auto range, it was there. Okay, so just try to go for display. Okay. So this is like uh, how we have 1.4 which is showing there and uh, the maximum which is at 1.46 we have or we can go with the turbulency then you can see the turbulency of that turbulent kinetic energy over here not this area the maximum which is having 1 and the uh, turbulent kinetic energy or turbulent viscosity you can see this how we have turbulent viscosity how we have this area okay so this how it is going to represent now even if you want to see that just try to fit it this is in this then velocity velocity magnitude instead of auto range mm. Temperature, no, we can go with here. So this, what we can do is velocity magnitude. So instead of auto clip to the range, auto range it was there, right? So for example, I'll go with um, temperature cases. For example, because we have not solved, we can see it. Might be we can see it. Try to display this. Go with auto range. But we didn't solve right even it was showing this so instead of auto range i'll go with here also in terms of kelvin approximately 242 uh, 290 within the range we can see it might be you can see it was not showing because we have didn't solve that energy equation right after solving the energy equation we can get it this result uh, we can go with this okay velocity within the range we have okay 1.4 we have and uh, you can see like wall fluxes wall shear or uh, skin friction coefficient total i want to see that uh, surface and on number you want to see that which is showing zero null set number which is showing zero and other cases heat transfer coefficient so we can go with it mostly turbulency we want to see that turbulent kinetic energy over here you can see the wall which is having maximum one minimum so turbulent display uh, dissipation rate or turbulent viscosity you can see that how we have okay so thus how you can have a clear idea 
or you can go with other parameters like turbulent kinetic energy you know you can go with here how we have okay so you can check it you know whatever the input parameters we required we can see turbulent uh, viscous ratio you can go with here turbulent dissipation rate showing 7.1 mostly over this wall region you will be having this this area okay now what sir now what you are going to do is uh, next time so up to here it is got converged right uh, what things we have been solved in the solution methods and solution control when you go with equations we have been solved the turbulence in this so you can undo this two things energy try to give okay then run the calculations now uh, no initialize it okay initialize it just go with initialized okay now run the calculations now you can try to you know might be we can get it any error you see it because we are not solving no again showing no divergent detected in amg solver of temperature temperature is getting detected so because pressure even pressure is zero because we have not solved the pressure right we can we can see the result graphics counter setup I'll go with your temperature, static temperature. We can display this. So mostly over this region, how we have, okay, the static temperature, and uh, in within the range, you know, instead of auto minimum, I'll go with auto range within the range of 240 to some two or uh, three, three you can go with here. So you can just try to display this, or you can now uh, undo this field, try to display this. So clip to the range you can go with here if you go auto range you can see that mostly how we have within the range okay so temperature uh, yeah so you can see static temperature and wall temperature you want to see that wall temperature which is total temperature total energy or internal energy we have i'll go with your total temperature how we have temperature with respect to static temperature you can see this okay so what we studied here uh, we have studied about the pressure how what are the pressure and also we studied about the turbulency and also we studied about the temperature cases what changes been observed that we studied sir can i plot yes we can plot it right then you can go with here xy plot okay uh, go with xy plot setup so you can go with your pressure uh, what at which region at wall top region i want to see that so just try to plot it here okay instead of this uh, we have static because we have solved for energy right i'll go with here temperature okay with wall top region so which is having 3.5 okay and at the bottom region so you can also plot it because why this is a gap you have to understand why there is a gap here because you see the our section how it was there because from here to here there is a gap right so that's it was mentioning there the gap which is having from 0.1 to 0.3 there is a gap here right so this way then what about the other uh, temperature we have or at the periodic zones you want to see that you can try to plot it so at what at the location of sir what i do is i'll put it to this zero and put it to one in the region and try to plot it here it is changing our periodic regions are both right one is inlet and one is outlet now i'll go with your wall top okay static temperature which location how it was having and wall top region you can try to plot it there okay wall top which is having mostly how it was there is that understood everyone or any doubts no sir so what what you understand about here the first thing is you have calculated the coefficient of drag how how much you got it in the previous case coefficient of drag uh, this static temperature so we calculate that coefficient drag drag so which is having approximately 0.09 okay when we are stall in the previous case right uh, here i think we are you know, we solve it uh, at wall top region okay so this we have given even i want to plot it that 
for what you can go with here already we have got the results which is i got approximately 0.7 okay and uh, at what uh, result number which is of 3.7 um, here we got it 3.5 okay and approximately we have this right so you can also calculate the quotient of drag result number uh, different parameters you can also have xy plot or the graph is you can see counters set of what you want to see temperature we can see it or uh, velocity we can see pressure this three important things even turbulence also we were discussed about that properties molecular weight or thermal conductivity you want to see that which is it okay yes shanwas kishor So who is yes, absent today? Uh, which person was absent today? Yes, Anurag was there. Gopal was there. Yes, Santosh was absent today, right? So will you try this example? Yes, I will try. But why, guys? You are not submitting the assignment till now. Only one person, that is Gokul, is sending me the assignments. Why? What happened to other people? Sixteen 